G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazine to Jacob's Well to test the Bonito boat. Now we've tested a couple of Bonito boats before, both a 5.6 metre hull in both a tiller and a centre console version. But new to the Bonito range is the 5 metre hull, which is a smaller hull, can be used with smaller horsepower and comes in at a slightly cheaper price. Now we've tracked down Adam Webb, who's a local from here. Uh, he uses this boat with a 90 horsepower Suzuki for prawning, crabbing, catching big whiting, doing everything that the locals love doing down here at the jumping pin. So we're going to put the Benito 5 metre with the 90 Suzuki in the water and let you know exactly how it goes. So in between storms on this uh, on this tumultuous jump and pin day, we uh, got out with the owner who's Adam Webb, and Adam's a local, uh, lives at Jacob's Well, uh, has lived here all his life. He's too shy to come on camera, unfortunately, but I had a great conversation with him about why he bought the Bonito boat. Now his history has been in aluminium boats, and aluminium boats didn't give him the ride, um, didn't give him the boating experience that he wanted. So uh, Bonito being a local company, only just up the road, he talked to the guys at Bonito and he ordered this five metre boat. Um, it's 18 months old now and it's done a lot of work and it's, it's a testament to how well he looks after it because he does a lot of hours on the water and his theory, he tells me, is uh, he loves to go out fishing. If you go out fishing every day of the week, you don't need to wash that boat until the end. And when he casts nests for prawns, when you crab for crabs up the shallow mangrove muddy creeks, you get that boat pretty dirty during the week. But at the end, you get the hose, you get the gurney, you wash it all out. Once a year, you give it a polish and the boat comes back to brand new, the condition here. I was stunned when I found out this boat was 18 months old. Um, what Adam also likes doing is doing a lot of camping locally uh, in the jump and pin area and uh, you can see with the massive amount of space in this boat that filling it up with all the water, all the camping gear, the fuel, the batteries, the fridges, the tents, the wife and kids, um, you can still get up on the plane comfortably. That 90 horsepower Suzuki really pushes this thing along. Let's go to the performance statistics and uh, uh, this the motor against the wind and tide admittedly revved out to 6400 RPM uh, and gave 64 kilometres an hour of performance um, and it was pretty similar down the range um, 6,000 rpm 60 kilometers 5,000 rpm 48 kilometers an hour so so not the world's fastest speed boat but this is a load carrying boat it's a work platform it's a fishing boat and as we can see here it's lasted really well for the 18 months uh, I was talking to Adam he said his last two motors he had were 40 horsepower Yamahas and he sold both of them with thousands of hours on them so we know that this Benito is going to get a lot of work on the jumping pin let's have a chat to Martin Slennett from Benito boats to see exactly why he thinks they're the best on the market. Uh, well Adam had the boat uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, he, he fishes a lot uh, inshore and offshore. Uh, the boat's a five metre uh, sports tiller steer from Benito, uh, fully moulded, all fibreglass, uh, quality build. Uh, we don't use any structural timber, um, all new mouldings and they're coming up beautifully. Okay, we can get the five metre in the tiller version as you see here, or the centre console. Uh, we also do a side console. Uh, our next model up is the 5.6 metre, uh, also is a tiller steer, or a side console or centre console. We believe timber doesn't belong in boats nowadays. Uh, there are some good alternatives. Uh, we're using a thermo light uh, composite panel instead of timber in uh, the floors, uh, bulkheads and transoms. Uh, it's impervious to water. Uh, it'll basically last forever. Um, and all Bonitos are made as standard with, uh, with that material. We can package the boats up to suit you. Uh, we can do boat only or boat trailer and motor. Uh, you can pick your motor of choice. Uh, we, we don't have any alliance with anybody. Uh, and same with the trailer. Well, uh, we make these boats at the factory. Uh, the majority is hand laid. Uh, we use uh, only the, the, the best materials, knitted and woven glass. Um, uh, the attention to detail is, is something we believe is, is not found in the industry nowadays. Uh, we're, we're, we're all about quality. Okay, look, to, to find out more about Bonito Boats, you can go to uh, the Facebook Boat Owners page. Uh, that's an independent page put up by owners, uh, www.bonitoboats.com.au or uh, give myself a call on 0416 099 908. 
So having a look at the uh, the five metre Benito, you can you can see exactly why Martin and the guys from Benito are so proud of their build. It is a very well built boat. It's a well finished boat. But what I love about it is it's a very practical boat, and there's a few reasons for that. You know, little things like the uh, the swing away sounder, which are on that uh, on that swing away arm, it helps maximise the space in this boat. And the space is really useful useful when you go camping when you want to load a lot of people and a lot of gear in it. But that aside, it's also when you fish. This boat is capable of uh, putting the bimini top up the front, take the family out, move the seats to the front uh, the front positions, and all of a sudden you've got the rods hanging out the back and you're chasing some quality whiting. But you want to go into sport fishing mode, you pop the bimini top off, you put the seats back down the back, and you're on the mincoder up the front chasing all of the sport fish that the jumping pin in this part of the world is famous for. And of course, the, the sport fishing, crabbing, prawning opportunities here are great. Adam's got two little girls, eight and nine years old. They can both throw the cast net. This boat is big enough and versatile enough for them to be both throwing the cast net at the same time. He also makes his own crab pots, which are nearly a metre in diameter. Those crab pots all fit in this boat, no worries at all. And of course, at the end of the day, all the junk he can just hose out, goes through the self-draining deck, out through the scuppers. Now, we love the Benito boats, of course, but do yourself a favour, talk to the guys at Benito. Their details are on the bottom of the screen here. Get yourself out for a test ride, and you too can take advantage of some great custom-built, locally-made sport fishing boats. You, you can put your hands up under the gunnels and in the tight corners of the, the cast platforms and things and, and you'll get no sharp dags, you, you won't come out with a bleeding hand.